Welcome, fitness friends, to my moving and grooving aqua pool workout. This is a full body workout, and we are going to go through all of our warm up and then do our movements with some gloves and then do a stretch at the end. So, again, you're welcome to use equipment if you'd like to. It's always optional, but feel free to add it if you feel like you need the extra challenge. But for that warm up, we don't need any equipment. So let's just go ahead and sink down in the water, get used to that temperature of the water. Yeah, we gotta get acclimated. And then once you're ready, let's go ahead and start doing a jog. Now use a tall posture and try to keep those heels down the best you can. Just swing those arms by your side with a bend and extend of those elbows. Start bringing those heels up behind you. So those heels are coming up to your glutes. I call these butt kickers. And then we're gonna slice those hands crisscross down in front of you. Try to always remember to keep those shoulders relaxed and down and your midsection engaged. Bring it back to a jog and we're gonna slice those hands forward. So you're just gonna bring right left hands forward. A slice is just a flat palm and you're gonna slice to the water. You can always add a fist if you prefer. Later on, those slices are gonna be your less intensity. Now, let's bring those arms into some breast strokes. Start opening up the shoulders, chest, and back muscles. Let's jog those feet wide and narrow. Those hands can go on the hips. Jog those feet into a wide position and stay wide. A couple more jogs. Okay, now we're gonna start taking those jogs into a pendulum leg. So keep the legs nice and wide and you're gonna just lift on the right and left wide legs like a TikTok motion. And you're gonna sweep the arms to the opposite of the leg that's lifting. Let's bring those heels up behind us and those butt kickers again. And let's sweep those hands from right to the left across at the surface level. Again, slicing those hands. Bring it down into a jog and let's bend and extend those elbows at the sides. Now you can slice your hands, just keeping a flat palm, or you can start scooping the water with a palm up, palm down motion. The scooping is gonna add a little more intensity to the upper body, a little bit more wrist work. So always feel free, like you can go back to those slices any point you want to. Great, back into some butt kickers, and let's add those breaststroke arms again. Ground those feet and then start low kicks forward. So just a right and a left, small kicks forward. Try to engage your abdominals and stay up with that upright posture. Keep those legs going, but just lengthen them. So keep more of a straight leg forward. Again, you really wanna tuck in your tummy here to keep that low back strong. Wonderful, let's take it into some jacks. So jack those legs out to the both sides and those arms are gonna crisscross in the front and then open out into a T-shape. Let's change our movement into a ski. So remember opposite limbs forward. So if you have right arm forward, left leg is forward and then you just hop to switch those legs and arms. Take it back into those jacks. So out wide and then narrow, wide and narrow, crisscross those arms in the front. Great. 
great. Let's go back to that ski now. Take those feet into a jog and start bringing those knees up a little higher in front. Just sweep your hands across at the surface, going across each of those knees as they lift. Plant the feet in a wide athletic stance and we're just gonna either do some knee bends or squats. You're just gonna kind of lower into those hips and then come back up. Do your best to try to keep those feet grounded. I know coming up, your heels are gonna to wanna to raise, but try to stay grounded as best as possible. Super, let's stretch out those hips. And a big hula hoop circle here. Let's hula those hips, take them around in big circles. Those feet stay grounded. Those knees are soft. Let's shimmy those hips right and left. So push the hips to the right, push them to the left, and then add some circles of those wrists. So take those wrists and circle them around. We wanna make sure the wrists are ready because we're gonna be working with those gloves in just a moment. Now let's take those hands and swim them in a lazy figure eight pattern to the right and to the left. And we wanna try to do some pivoting and side bending. We wanna get the core involved here. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Now just turn to one side and you're gonna leave the arm open on the right and facing it forward. And we're gonna swoop that left arm. Just pull it back and then bring it back to the right arm. Pull it back, opening the chest. You got that. Now bring the left foot up behind you into some butt kickers. That's that back foot right there. Just bring it up and down behind you. Use some running arms. Try to stay engaged in that front leg, but make sure there's a bend in that front knee. And now let's take it into some rockers. So you're just gonna bring that knee up and do a hamstring curl or a butt kicker in the back. A little reach with a crisscross and a pull back, reach and pull. Yep, we wanna warm up the whole body there, get our weight shifting happening too. Jog those feet wide, go ahead and plant them again, bring those hands together, and that little fishy swim hand. And we're gonna go into a lazy figure eight, right and left. Again, you're trying to dip into those sides, feel the sides move, move the hips a little bit. And then we're gonna sweep open on the right arm side. So that left hand stays forward. We're gonna sweep open on the right, trying to reach and then reach back, opening the chest, shoulders, back and core. Bring that back foot up and down into some right butt kickers there. Again, use those running arms. They really do help with the balance and make sure that front leg has a soft knee. Got one more and then let's change it into a rocker. So you're gonna crisscross and pull back. That front knee lifts, the back leg does a butt kicker and we're gonna just weight shift forward and back. Take it to a jog and then some small T arms out to the sides and circle them, just small circles. Loosen up the shoulder girdle here. Now you can sink down lower in the water at any point to protect those joints. Now keep it jogging and just pull those hands down behind you and stretch those shoulders out a little bit. There you go, take a nice deep breath. And then bring those hands forward, lace them if you can and then push those palms away to stretch through those fingers. Keep your feet moving. Great job warming up everybody. Let's get those hands ready. So we're gonna go get some gloves and I guess it's always optional. Come on back, let's have some fun moving and grooving together. It's gonna be some nonstop movement. We're gonna tone, we're gonna burn those calories, get in our cardio, and it's gonna be some fun all together with it. So go get ready, come on back. We're gonna start our workout with some wide high knees. So bringing up right, then left, high knees. And we're gonna take those hands and we're gonna slice them down in the front. Now, for more challenge to your body, you're gonna use more of a palm press down. So you're gonna push down towards the floor. If you're looking for a little less, you're gonna use those slices. Let's 
take it into a ski here. Using those long arms by your sides, we're gonna try to scoop the water. So you're gonna try to scoop the water up and then you're gonna push it down. Scoop the water up and then push it down by those sides. those feet and then bring up that right knee. So we're going to go into a right knee repeater. Think about pulling in those abdominals and driving those hands towards that knee. Switch to the other side. We're going to do about eight of them on the other leg. Now switch back to that right side. And this time I want you to bring your knee inward across the midline. And you're gonna bring your hands and push down towards your outer hip. Let's try those inward knees on the other side. Great, let's go back into our ski and you can either use those long arms with a slice at the sides or you can scoop those palms up and down for more upper body intensity. Back to his wide high knees and we're gonna press down in the center. Again, slice the hands for less intensity, push the palms down for more intensity. Ground your feet and then do small quick presses down in the center. So just pulse, 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 pulse towards the floor. Keep those shoulders relaxed and down, tummies in strong. Last one. Great. Let's bring it to that high knee on the right side, a high knee wide repeater. Try to bring the hands in towards the inner thigh. Switch to the left side. Take it back down into our ski. Remember you can keep those palms in towards you and just slice through the water or you can scoop that water for more upper body work. Ground the feet, take it to a right inward knee repeater. Again, try to swoop that water down past the hip on the right side. Time to switch sides. Mm -hmm. 
Nice job, everybody. Let's rest those hands for a moment. So relax your shoulders, rest your hands. Keep your feet moving here in a gentle jog. And we're gonna bring those hands at this surface there and we're gonna start slicing them down with some jack legs. So think about the legs going out and in, out and in with the legs. And you're gonna go ahead and slice them down and open them out into a T. So we're gonna do a jack with the hands coming in the front, open and then back, open, front, open, back, open. Now the slice is gonna be less resistance on the upper body. If you're looking for more, we're gonna go into a clap behind and a clap in front. So you're gonna really have to think about squeezing the shoulders together, bringing those hands in, tucking in those tummies, but make sure the shoulders stay relaxed and down the whole time. Now, if that clap behind becomes a little too challenging for you, remember you can always stay with the clap in front or that slice in front. So again, always think about how it fits your body today for this workout and go and adapt it to meet your needs for today. You should definitely be feeling that upper body there. So let's let it rest for a moment. Just jog out those feet, rest your shoulders, rest your hands. Bring your right hand out in front, keep it long there. And we're gonna pull with the left side in a bow and arrow pull. So you're gonna pull the water like you're grabbing it, pull back with the elbow. Squeeze through the shoulder blade and then push with like a slice. Pull back, grab, and then slice forward. Emphasis on the pull back. Last one, then change it into some rockers. So just take that front knee, bring it up, bring the back leg up into a hamstring butt kicker curl there. And we're gonna do some clapping or slicing down in the front. So we're gonna clap and open, squeeze. Now we're gonna emphasis on the squeeze or the clap or the slice in the front. So the motion is more towards the front, working the top front of the body there. Keep that rocker going a little longer. Come back into a jog and then when you're ready, jack the legs out and in. We're going back to those jacks with the clap in the front, open to a T and then clap behind. Now remember, it can be a slice. You can stay just in the front if you prefer. And for the extra intensity for lower body, I would like you to do some squeezing of those inner thighs and crisscross those legs the best you can. Let's get as many muscles as we can with this one. up for that left arm in front and we're going to go to the bow and arrow pulls. So we're going to pull back, grab the water, use the elbow, drive it back, squeeze through the shoulder blade and then slice it forward. The emphasis is on the pull back, tighten up that core. Change it into rockers, high knee in the front, curl or a butt kicker in the back, a reach with a clap and a pull back, clap and pull back. Now try to think about emphasis on the squeeze of those shoulder blades in the back. 
So again, you can slice in the front if you need to, but just try to squeeze shoulder blades together in the back. Super. Let's go back into those jack legs. So taking them out and in, out and in. This time as the legs go out, the hands clap. And then as the legs go in, the hands go out to a T. So we're gonna go reverse. So we're gonna try to look at a little bit more coordination on this one. So we're gonna bring the hands together, legs open, hands out, legs close. And again, you can add that front and back motion or keep it all in the front of the body if you prefer. So I call this coordination work because, you know, it's not the same that we usually do. We're doing the opposite movements. It makes your brain a little bit smarter here. Let's jog it out and let's rest those shoulders for a moment. How about some breaststroke arms? So just gentle breast strokes at the surface, slicing those hands to the water so there's not a lot of resistance. Trying to give the upper body a little rest, keep the feet moving to keep that cardio up. going, but just take the right foot and slightly jog it in front of the left. This is called offset. This is going to help those hips get a little bit stronger here. Keep that jog going just a little longer. Now we're going to change this into what I call the leaping lunges. You're going to either step or you're going to lunge with that right foot and then you're going to come back quickly. And as you step or lunge with the right foot, you're going to push that left hand forward in a palm strike or a grab of the water or a slice, whatever feels good, but it's a nice quick. So a step out, quick return, step out, quick return, and using both sides of the body. Bring it into a strong, tall posture and jog it out. Pinch your hands right and left forward here. Some strong movements through those arms. Engage your core to stay strong in the middle. Keep it going, but just start bringing that left foot a little bit more forward into that offset jog. Let's strengthen on that left side. Here come those leaping lunges, left side. So that left foot's gonna step forward and come back quickly, step forward, come back quickly. Something was like a half of a ski here. Now the right arm is gonna push, palm push and pull back. You can grab the water, you can do a slice, you can do a fist, whatever feels good to your wrist. I just want strong and stable core, strong push away and a quick pull back. Let's jog those feet out, and we're gonna do some punching across. So I want you to go across your midline a little bit on the right and left, cross, cross. You've got it, strong punches. Start 
start bringing those heels up behind you a little bit more into those butt kickers and let's punch down a little bit deeper. Tighten up your middle again, relax those shoulders. Remember that good posture. those leaping lunges on the right foot again step forward on the right and then back in nice and quick push away on the left arm now we know this movement so let's try to make it bigger push bigger step bigger come back quicker again making it more efficient more quick stronger as we go And quickly take it into those jogs and punch, 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 punch. Quick punches forward. And one more time, those leaping lunges left side. So step with the left, push with the right, strong engaged middle, push away, pull back strong, or those punches or even those slices. Again, do what's best for your wrist today. Jog those feet and let's pump our arms, both of them at, down at our sides. So pump, 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 down towards the floor. Strong jog. jogging let's change that pump down in front of us so small pulses pump 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 down in front of you bring it back to a jog let's breast stroke those arms again stretch out the shoulders stretch out the hands Great. Are you ready for some more? Yeah, today is all about endurance, about going and being stronger for longer. So we're on these exercises a little longer than other ones in the past. So do your best at, you know, all of these, you know, and challenge yourself and bring it down whenever you need to. Take it back into those ski legs. So now on this time, instead of long arms, I'm going to have you bend and extend the arms by your sides. Again, you can just slice through the water for you know, a little less resistance, but if you scoop the palms up and down, we're gonna get the triceps and biceps, a little more toning and sculpting in those arms. And you know, that's a great thing. If you're looking to add on a little more sculpting and a little more muscle mass there. legs and we're going to change up the arms. So now we're just going to take that left arm and we're going to reach across at the surface. So we're going to do some rotation and reaches across. You're going to just keep the other hand, that right hand on the hip. We're going to reach across left, pull back, reach across left, pull back, ski the legs. So we're going to use that one side, keep your middle strong, try to add a little rotation.
back to just a ski. We're gonna rest the upper body for just a moment. It's good to take rest breaks for those joints whenever you need to. Even if I don't remind you, take breaks anytime you need to. Let's go back to those bend and extend of the elbows. So again, here I'm just slicing to start off. That's my least resistance. Now I'm gonna start scooping, palms up, palms down. More resistance, again, building those triceps and biceps a little bit more strength in those arms, making them look more shapely. Let's change up those hands. Keep the feet going in those ski legs. Reach your right arm across and pull back. So again, it could be a slice, it could be a palm. It could be whatever you feel good with. And then a strong pullback. Let's emphasize on the pullback on these. And again, your other hand's just gonna hang it out on the hip there. So some rotation when you can. Press the upper body, and let's just do ski legs only here. When you're ready, we're gonna add some arms, those bicep, tricep extensions of the elbow. We're gonna do both arms together. So we're going to push down, push up, push down, push up, or again, back to the slices. Just use both of the arms in sequence together. So both of them down, both of them up together. Rest those arms, hands to the hips, keep the ski leg going. When you're ready, we're gonna crisscross those arms in front and then do a strong pull back, wide elbows pulled back. Crisscross, open, crisscross, open. Think about driving the elbows wide, a shoulder, just a big squeeze between those shoulders and the back muscles there. You can grab for the water or slice with those hands. Just a few more, because we are closing in on that water break already. We're almost halfway, so just a few more. And bring it into a jog. Nice job. So far, you're doing fantastic. Gentle circles of the wrist at your sides. Just stretch out your wrists here. Keep the feet moving. We're gonna move into that water break, so you can pause if you need more time. Now, if you really love my workouts, please help support me. Click on that like button and then also subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. Return to the workout as soon as you're ready. Let's start jacking in a motion that we're gonna soften that knee on the right side. And we're gonna do a little 
pendulum on the left side. So it's gonna feel a little different here. We're gonna try to sink into that right side and then lift on the left side. So it's half pendulum, half of a jack. And you're gonna push down as the leg lifts out to the side. Go ahead and just try to figure it out first. And as you get it, lift that leg a little bit higher and higher to the sides. I hope you got the rhythm down because we're going to switch to the other side. So again, you can do a little abduction of the leg lifting out onto that right side. You're going to keep that left knee soft. You're going to kind of hop down into the leg, lift the leg out to the side. And as the leg lifts, you're going to push those palms down to the floor. Fantastic, now find your left leg. We're gonna start kicking forward and then tapping it down. Kick it forward and tap down. Kick and tap. As you kick, I'm gonna have you sweep those arms down as the leg lifts. And then we're gonna scoop, push the water up, push the water down, so we're gonna get those arms again. Now, remember, you can add more intensity by bounding. If you wanna take it slower and stay grounded, feel free to do so. A little bit more cardio here if we bound, a little bit more leg strength is involved as well. Okay, let's ground ourselves and then find that right foot. And we're gonna start kicking that right foot. And again, it can be more of a heel dig. If you wanna keep it really low, you can always go to a heel dig. A little higher is more of a kick. And again, then extend the elbows at your sides, a little push away, pull back. Use the arms, try using the whole body. And think about your tummy too. Keep the muscles in the tummy engaged. Slow it down, widen those feet. We are getting ready to pendulum those legs. That means a tick-tock motion right and left again. Once you have those legs going, we're gonna push the hands in a V shape. So the hands are gonna go out in the opposite direction of the leg lift. I'm trying to push out nice and strong using both of those hands. Let's bring those feet in and get ready to do kicks on right and then left. So we're gonna use both feet this time. So kick right, a kick left. Hands can stay on the hips and you can keep those kicks low. You can make those kicks a little bit bigger and you can add those arms anytime you want to by sweeping those arms down by your sides. Make sure you keep your abdominals engaged. It really helps to protect the low back and it gives you a better posture, shoulders relaxed and down. Keep that posture strong. Let's take our intensity down into a gentle jog. Strong breathing. 
Now think about kicking forward on your right side and then that pendulum hip abduction on the left side. So kick forward right, lift on the left, kick right, lift on the left. And again, we're gonna do those pulses down with the leg lift, but we're gonna push forward with the kick forward. Again, a little coordination here, so if it takes you a little time, don't worry. Just try to think about those motions, do the best you can. Slow it down, let's try it on the other side. So again, a left kick, a right hip lift, left kick, a right hip lift. And on the kick, push forward, on the hip lift, push to the floor, go slow, and then speed it up when you got it. Jog it out and let's rest that upper body. Now for this next one, we're gonna keep those feet jogging. You can either alternate right and left arms if you need a little rest, or you can do both those hands. We're gonna slice the hands in a V shape. So you're gonna push out, pull back in, push out, pull back in. Now you can change it to a palm heel. So push away for a little bit more arm work. Or you can do a push away and then grasp at the water and pull back to get the arms, the chest, and the back. So again, lots of ways you can do this. I want you to sink down a little bit deeper in the water. Let's get those shoulders down in the water. Try thinking about all your joints being protected by the water. Keep jogging your feet and let's crisscross the hands in front and then open them out into like a T shape, crisscross and open. Here I'm starting out with a slice. Again, you can always change up those hands for more upper body work, but whenever you need to, bring it always back into the slice for a little less intensity. Keep jogging, take the arms back out into the V push. Again, both arms or one at a time and use the hand placement that feels best to your wrist today and what helps you reach your goals. Are you trying to get a little more upper body? Are you trying just to get your cardio? What are you looking for? And then go for what you're looking for. Bring it back into those crisscrosses, forward crisscross open, crisscross and open. Again, just jog out those feet here for a moment, rest your upper body, and then we're gonna start settling into some ski legs. So think about the legs opening and closing forward and back, ski legs, and my arms out to a T shape. I'm gonna relax the shoulders, and I'm gonna clap your hands together, and then as I clap those hands, then I'm gonna turn my palms and push the palms away. Clap palms together and then push the palms away. So this way we're gonna emphasize on the front and the back of the body. Again, if the upper body is kind of getting tired, go back into just a slice of those hands at the surface. Or even take those hands into your hips and just hold on to the hips with the hands. Again, choose what works best for you. Now keeping with the upper body endurance, we're gonna clap or slice those hands down and take those legs into jack legs. So I'm just doing a little crisscross and open with the arms, jacking the legs here, shoulders relaxed and down. And then once you're ready and keep those legs going, we're gonna start reaching right and left forward with those hands. So I'm starting with a slice, just pushing right hand, then left hand. Then going a little bit more into a palm heel, so pushing more with a full palm. And then if you want to, you can add a reach, grab of the water, and a pull back. 
No matter what you do, I want you to stay strong with your core, upright posture, tuck in your tummy, no slouching, no leaning forward. Okay, let's go back to the ski legs. Now your palms are gonna push out to the back and then you're gonna pull in, palms come towards you. But I want you to stay on the back half. So we're not gonna come all the way forward and clap. I want you to stay on the back half of this motion and really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades. Let's strengthen those back muscles and they really help to improve your posture. So keep shoulders back and down. Squeeze through your shoulder blades. the legs out and in and let's go back to those alternating front arms so again a slice right and left or a palm strike right and left or a grab of the water and a pull back right and left pick which one works for you Now let's stay on that left side, push and pull, push and pull. And then we're gonna add a push and pull forward and then a cross push and pull. Push and pull forward, a cross push and pull. All the while we're doing those jack legs. On the across, you might do a little bit of shift in that hip to do some pivoting to add some more rotation as well. And back into those ski legs. With those ski legs, sink down in the water a little bit, get the shoulders down and add some small T arm circles. Small circles with those arms out at your sides. They don't have to be big, just small. Circle them around, try to go lower to protect those joints. You got this, engage your middle too. Use that strong core that we got. Jack those legs open and closed. Find your right arm. We're gonna push it forward in, across, and in. So get yourself going with those legs first. And again, forward, in, across, in, forward, in, across, in, forward, in, across, in. Keep it going. Let's go back into those ski legs. I want you to set up your hands in front, palms facing away and elbows out to your sides. We're gonna go ahead and extend and bend through those elbows. So you're gonna push the palms away and then 
bring those palms in. It's going to work on the triceps and biceps here. Shoulders relaxed and down. Think about the core. Now this one splashes a lot. Keep your mouth closed. I got splashed a few times while I was doing this one. Jack legs, open and close those legs, out and ins, out and ins. There you go. Take a nice deep breath. Crisscross those hands in the front. And let's get ready for some elbow drives back. So we're gonna crisscross, elbow drive back wide. We're gonna make that emphasis again on that back. So try to think about squeezing those shoulder blades. We really wanna strengthen our back to give us a nice, strong, tall posture. Now keep it going, we're gonna go here a little bit longer. Like I said, we're trying to build that endurance. And remember, stronger for longer. We all need that extra little bit of endurance in our life, don't we? All right, jog those feet, sink down in the water. Now think about disco hands. Yeah, let's have some fun here. Discoing those arms in front. Disco, circle them. Yep, keep them right in front. Now you have the option of keeping the jog going and keeping the arms right in front. If you want more core work, we're gonna spin those hands off to the right, to the center, and then off to the left. So keep spinning and just rotate the arms so the hands are moving around. It's gonna make you feel like you're a little bit out of balance there, trying to kind of get you off kilter. And that's what it's supposed to do. You wanna try to stay as stable with our middle with this one best as you can. Lower down into a nice quick jog and let's punch those hands forward really, really quick. Small punches, quick, quick, quick. Bring up those high knees in front, right and left, and sweep the water from the right to the left across at the surface, just bringing it across each of those knees as they lift. Bring those heels up behind you into butt kickers. Long arms down by your side, just keep them in a slicing motion unless you want to add more. And we're just going to keep that core engaged, bring those heels up as strong as you can. Quick drop down into a jog, disco those arms quickly in front. Now again, keep them in front or for more core work, you're gonna spin the hands from the right to the left there in front of you, but your chest and those hip bones stay forward. We're trying to keep the core as stable as possible, just moving those arms, adding that turbulence. Hop out into a planted athletic stance, punch across, right and left, punch, punch, punch. Let's 
Let's bring those knees up again, right and left. Wide high knees, and we're gonna just palm press down on each side. So push those hands towards the floor. For a little bit more core work, you're gonna push it down towards each of those hips on each side and lower sweep on each side. Back to butt kickers and those long arms by your sides. Just swing them down by the sides. Now you have the option of angling them in a bit. So we're gonna bring them in, working our glutes a little bit more. This helps to shape those glutes. Angling in, maybe tapping down to each of those feet on each side. Again, you don't have to, just reaching that area to work the upper body, getting those feet to come out to work and shape those glutes. Quickly drop down into a disco jog. Jog, 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 disco those arms. Jogging those feet for more cardio or if it challenges you more, plant those feet and really spin those arms for more upper body work. Planted feet, punch across right and left, strong punches, engage your middle. Let's bring up those knees again, wide high knees, pressing down. And let's go into some butt kickers. Bend and extend your elbows at your sides. Again, slice the hands or scoop the hands, your choice. Those butt kickers are just a great exercise to strengthen those hamstrings. And when those hamstrings are strong, it helps to lift your tushy there. So, you know, some added benefits. And I don't know if you see him back there in the background. That's my pup, Nitro. He's hanging around, always supervising, watching what I'm doing, keeping me in, in check there. Yep, you'll see him from time to time in my workouts. <laughs> Drop down into planted feet, quick disco arms. How about reversing the direction on those disco arms? Let's make that water turbulent. Don't stop just yet, we are almost done. And you did it, we did it together. Great job, everybody. Now, time to recover. Let's start stretching out those bodies. I'm gonna give you some time to go take off your gloves, grab some water and come on back. 
Next, we're moving into our recovery. We're gonna relax, we're gonna stretch, and we're gonna increase our range of motion. So once you're ready, we're gonna start with some wide feet. We're gonna crisscross those arms in front and then open them to the sides. As you open the arms to the sides, you're gonna lift one leg on the right side and then you're gonna lift on the left side. Now these are gentle flowing motions and we're just trying to stretch out the inner thighs, those hips. Try to relax through these motions. into some wide legs. Turn the knees and toes slightly outward. Kind of like a plie look here and just sink into those legs to stretch out the groin, the whole inner thigh area. Use your arms to sweep through the water to help keep you balanced. So the right foot is forward. We're gonna keep that right hand forward also. Now you're gonna sweep the left arm open and then bring it back in to meet the right arm. Sweep it open. We're trying to stretch to the chest, through the arms. Take a nice deep breath. Anchor into your front foot and gently bring the back foot up into a gentle butt kicker. So up and then tap down. Use your hands to scull the water to help you. After a few of them, you can either continue or you can stay up in a static stretch of your quads. So if the water's really bumpy, you might wanna tap down and come back up. If you wanna stay up, just stay up. You can hold the leg there to stretch more. You can hold onto the wall. There's a lot of options this one. You just want to find your balance best you can. Now you're going to bring that leg forward. We're going to tuck it in and we're going to stretch to the glutes. So trying to tuck the leg into the body and then I know this is a little more challenging. We're gonna try to point and flex through the ankle so the toes are gonna point away and then towards you. You can hold onto the leg or you can just scull through the water. If it's really wavy in your pool, some of these stretches can be a little more challenging just so you know. Now we're gonna extend that leg forward and long. Tuck the toes in to stretch through our hamstrings. You're gonna to wanna to sink down in the water and you're gonna scull your hands. Let's do all that again on the left side. So left foot forward, left hand forward, open the right hand out and then bring it back into center. Trying to look a little bit over that shoulder as we open. Bring that back foot up and down behind you, gentle butt kickers. Remember, you can continue with that gentle motion or you can stay up, hold on to the ankle, find your balance, use your arms to scull the water or even hold on to the wall for this one. Again, the more wavy of the water, the more challenging to the balance. Bring the knee forward, hold on to it under the thigh. A gentle stretch here for the glutes and then a point and flex of the foot. So that nice ankle movement. And again, if the ankle movement's too much, go ahead and just tuck the leg in and just leave it there. I want a good stretch of those glutes. 
Lengthen that leg out in front of you for a hamstring stretch. Draw the toes in towards you. Sink down into the water a little deeper so that leg that you're standing on is engaged, a little bend in it. We don't want to lock out the joints. Try to keep a tall posture here. Now we're gonna to step to a tall posture. You're gonna bring the right foot and crisscross either at the ankle or a little higher. Now, if you've had hip replacement, you're gonna to wanna to keep it lower, or if you have a bad hip, you might even wanna keep it lower. If you feel more flexible and wanna bring it higher, you can bring it up to the, you know, right around the knee, up to the thigh. You're gonna sit back into it. It looks like a figure four here. Now I have my hands out to the sides. I'm doing some wrist circles. You may need to scull the water instead to keep your balance. Again, add on as you need to. Now take the foot, step it down behind you and scull the water to help keep your balance. Or if you feel balanced, you can always bring the hand overhead to do an extra side stretch. And you can always add that other arm on for that balance assist. Step in and let's go to the figure four on the left side. Again, cross the feet at the ankle for, you know, a little less and a little bit more stretch. You're gonna go a little bit higher. Here I'm using prayer hands to stretch out my wrist. And it also helps keep me a little more grounded in a very calm pool. Now, if you wanna add that stretch, feel free to. Otherwise, again, use the hands to hold on the wall or to scull the water. We're gonna step behind to get the side stretch here. And again, an overhead reach is an optional reach for you. Static stretch or use the hands as needed. Step in, bring those fingertips gently to the back of the head. Okay, no pressure on the head here. Just spread the elbows out nice and wide. This is a great stretch for the chest muscles and for those triceps. Take a nice deep breath. Lower the hands down behind the back. You can pull them down gently and then drop your ear, the right ear down to the right side. Let's stretch out through those neck and shoulder muscles. Bring your head back to neutral and let's drop that ear down to the left side. So again, we're trying to get a stretch through the neck, the shoulders, and just think about all your stress kind of just melting off those shoulders. Take those long arms, push them back behind you, palms push back, and then turn your thumbs inward and just kind of angle those palms back a little bit. This is a great stretch for the front of the body and for those biceps. Crisscross your hands to your shoulders and we are gonna do like a nice big hug. Tuck the elbows down, tuck the chin in, a little rounding of the back. Stretch out your back muscles here. Open those hands, raise them up to the sky, take a deep breath, roll out those shoulders, and give yourself what I call as a wave of applause. A little clap in a wave fashion, because, oh, we had a splash and good time, didn't we? 
I did. Thanks for joining me. Remember, I'm on demand on Vimeo at vimeo.com on demand backslash aquafit. Find me on Facebook and I even have print options of my workouts. Every one of them, you can give them in print form with descriptions and pictures. So if you need me, find me on Facebook, Vimeo, on social media, even on, on Instagram. Take care, you guys.